had a very late finishing rehearsal last night. I'm at Ely Folk Festival all weekend, so... Uh, oh. So I have the feet shoulder width apart, sink your hips and lengthen through the spine. Just really tune into the feet. Relax around the jaw. Spend a little bit of time on the jaw, just relaxing it. I'm feeling that the muscles relax and open and then relax around the, uh, the neck. The connection's already there, you just got to realise it's there. And also really cultivate that groundedness. So, um, yeah, I've not put the video up yet, Amy, for Tuesday's class. But as soon as I have, I'll share it with you. I did get your message. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so we're so tune into the ground for a bit. Then lengthen through the spine and just tune into your spine. So you want this bit going up and this bit going down. Settle just behind the ball of each foot. Do you want to feel relaxed? Do you want to feel comfortable? Very comfortable, but you also want to feel very alert. Yeah, great, okay, let's go. For it. Thank you. 
air going in and out. So while you're, while you're doing this, now just pay attention to your breath. And while you're paying attention to your breath, just allow your whole body to relax and connect. Relax isn't the right word actually, the correct word is sung um, in, in badly pronounced Mandarin and it's, it's relaxed more like when you've got a tent set up correctly with the strings and then the curves and the shapes, that kind of relaxed feeling. That's the best I can come up with, that's from Mike. decided to crawl up my leg. It was somewhat disconcerting. <laughs> it's all right, it's just down there. I think. <laughs> like... Yeah, you need to be aware of your environment. These are happy ones. Okay, now transfer the weight. Transfer the weight. So keep the, the length in the spine. around the jaw, relax around the neck, tall through the body, very beautiful, very nice. 
So you want to get in touch with your inner elegance. Um, okay, update on Monday mornings. If any of you fancy a trip out to Swatham Prior Village Hall, I am still there on Zoom on a Monday at 11. But you can also come and see me in the hall. <laughs> the outside turn, outside turn, there we go, so at this point you want to really watch the knees, the alignment of the knees, it's actually quite nice doing something relatively straightforward to really pay attention to structural alignment. the knees. Knees in line with the toes, tall through the spine. Tai Chi fitness classes 
and then found percussion workshops. So we'll be me and a bunch of kids making a racket and annoying all the grown-ups. Brilliant. Um, I'm going to make all the kids do handstands as well, because I'm horrible. So um, nice and relaxed, and we're just feeling that, that bounce, and then shake. So this is like, if you, if you when you see the dogs coming out of uh, Wickham Fen, when they go in that uh, river bit, where all the boats, and then they come out, and they're covered in pond weed, and they're all wet, and then they do this and spray everybody. It's like that. Eva's really into the shaking right now. Okay, now we do the bounce. Bounce and shake. I feel a bit like a pepper pot when I <laughs> push. Yeah. And we're just there we go. So you wanna Yeah, keep keep going, keep going. I'll just you wanna really relax the hands. Make your hands very relaxed and the wrists very, very relaxed. And, and tall through the head and the chin you want the chin correctly aligned as well correctly aligned chin that's it and and this uh, yeah we were looking at that kind of bouncy feel in yesterday's each one class we, we were doing this movement and um, keep breathing some more And then turn the palms up so you get that lovely open feeling in the chest. between the feet so feeling that weight transfer feeling the weight transfer from foot to foot Breathing some more. Marvellous. 
Okay, we'll do four more. One, two, three, four. And then just, oh. to activate the arches the feet. in the shoulders. That's it everybody. Okay, relax your shoulders a bit more everybody. And see if you can keep your head, see if you can keep your head looking forwards. Try, try it again. So get your, get your sleepy tiger eye gaze, get your soft focus gaze and then set up your listening behind and above. I really let go and if you see what I'm doing, I'm keeping my I'm practicing my focus gaze. So this bit is turning around. So it's like a um, essential column that's pivoting around. Pivoting around the central bit. So like this. And you, you wanna you wanna maybe try and um, 
um, reduce your amount of movement. So kind of really tune in to the spine, the waist, the shoulders. See what happens. Just to explore. So um, yeah, I was at a day retreat online and we were looking at being kind to yourself and um, it was with a lady who who does meditation retreats for cultivating peace and um, she's so good at it she goes to Israel and they gets all the Palestinians and Israelis t to meditate for a day together which I think is incredibly cool <laughs> it's very brave and um, anyway and um, she was talking about as well as the kind of dedication to practice and things you, you need to cultivate this sense of play the sense of exploration so rather than get too stuck on right I must do it this way this is the correct correct way there's many correct ways it's more about getting the movement situationally correct. There we go. I've been hanging out with Corel too long. <laughs> he comes out with stuff like that all the time, blows your brain. <laughs> okay, how we do it? That's better, isn't it? That's better. We just, if you have a look, I'm not moving my arms that much. I'm, I'm really relaxing them. And there's this almost kind of nonchalant I ain't bothered type thing going on there. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Right, we'll better change, otherwise we, we, we're gonna have to, we will do other things. Fabulous. Okay, so um, let's uh, look at the bow and arrow stance. We'll just spend a bit of time on bow and arrow stance and then we'll hang. Let me just check. I've been waffling. Oh dear, I have been waffling. Terrible. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're just thinking back, a bit be nice. And we're, we're all breathing, just breathe naturally. So Grandmaster Chen Shao Wang talks about natural breathing. So that the breathing is natural for how your body is at that point in time kind of thing. Um, I'll ask the Kaskubas, so they'll explain it much better, but that's what I understood from them. Oh, my foot's out of shot, sorry. So, tune into your feet. You want to get your weight going through the same point in the foot every time. Very good. So, think 
back your structural alignment along the spine. Okay, and then change feet. So we're going to change the sides. So just start in your Wu Chi, set that up first. And then forwards and back. Notice what you're notice what you're sensing. So you're you're being mindful, you're being respectful, you're listening to your body, you're listening to your environment, and you're paying attention. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing. Lengthen through the spine, sink the hips, breathe, feel the ground under your feet. Principles are pretty solid. Relax around the, the hips. Okay, now this time we sit back, we turn. We sit forward, we turn. We sit back, we turn. We sit forward, we turn. Protecting your knee joints. You want happy knees. You want happy knees. Nice and tall, beautiful. Change sides, so I didn't tell you. I'll change the side, but I think they've turned the volume up of the trains. <laughs> Breathing, fabulous. Okay, I'll put the alarm so I don't overrun. Um, okay, we're going to go through the form, but before we go through the form, we're going to look at open close and we're going to look at Master Chung's um, arm relaxing exercise. And then we're going to go through the form very slowly and probably hold postures and just sort of really sink in the form. Yes. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. <laughs> they do. I wish they could make quieter trains because it's, I mean, it's quite nice because just, um, yeah, I'll be doing some 
recording for this for, for when I'm doing my tutorials and then they're just in the background. Anyway. So open close. Open wrists open, fingers follow. Wrists close, fingers follow. You want to get yourself very, very relaxed. Wrists open, fingers follow. Wrists closed, fingers follow. Very small. Soften your palms. So this one, this version is the one I've done with Evoca Scuba. Okay. Elbows, wrists, fingers open. Elbows, wrists, fingers close. Elbows, wrists, fingers, open. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, close. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, open. Chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, close. So keep, maintain your focus of attention. Don't worry if you lose that focus, you just get it back. It's, it's actually a good practice to get your focus of attention back. And then, I'll just show you from the corner view, uh, diagonal view. I'm coming back slightly into the heel. As I go back, as I go forward, I go towards the balance point or towards the where the ball of the foot and the toes meet. So this is from Eva. behind me. Ok, 
Okay, and then two more like this. And then shoulder height. There's a red flying around <laughs> singing. <laughs> it's really good. Extend fingers. Three, bring the wrists into the shoulders. Four, let go. Letting go between the shoulder blades, letting go down the arm muscles. One.
let it go between the shoulder blades, let it go down the arm. And then the ground under your feet, feeling your posture. I'm just going to go through the form. Oh, right. The alarm was about to go off. Actually, let's stop for a quick water break first, and then we'll, we'll go through the form. Breathing in and out. Check your posture, breathe in. Breathe out and begin. The hands in. Sink the hips. So I'm mirroring. I'm mirroring. You're going the correct way, I'm going the opposite way. Turn. Push out, gather under, hold the ball. Left, cat, start. Step, heel, toe. Heart the wild horses back. Sink back, turn. and push. So notice the contact with the feet first. Get the contact lengthening through the spine. Down. 
it off. Take them through the spine. Sink back. Double handed push. Open the palms. Really feel that through the palms. Sink down. Sink the hips. Push out the hands gathered under hold the ball. Step.
Forbidden Couch. Parry and punch. Double hand and push. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. doing for time. Oh yikes. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's good. I was hoping to do more of the form but never mind. We'll just close off now and then I better go and see if Barry's around. Just calm the mind. Regulate the breathing. Calm the body, the energy. Tuning into that clarity from a very quiet, still place. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain.